Corvo, if only there was someone else I trusted to send, so that you could remain near. But there is no one else, and the Spymaster was right to insist that I send you. The plague has taken so many, and we must find a cure. When you are near, my heart is at peace. Emily and I will count the days until you return. Hurry home, and bring good news. Steady hand. That's it. Watch it. Cast off line. Casting off. We're away. Take us straight to Dunwall Tower. Lord Corvo has news for the Empress, and we've come a long way. A long way to bring bad news. The sailors say there's a curse on us. Black magic. Superstition. For all we know, there's a cure for the plague by now. Maybe. We live in strange times. Sending the Empress's bodyguard away for a couple of months. That's unusual. Well, this was important. We need help with the rat plague. will be in the pavilion when you're ready. You know what to do next? Welcome back, Lord Protector. There he is. Good voyage, sir. Soak a lot of fiddle with the hydraulics, and it runs like a dream now. It's an honor to see you. is waiting in the pavilion. Hello, sir. The spy master is with her, but she'll want to see you right away. She's in the pavilion, sir. She'll be glad to see that you're back. Corvo, you're back! Will you tell me about your trip, please? Were there any whales? Wait! Let's play hide-and-seek first. I'll cover my eyes and you hide. You have time? Mother's busy talking to that nasty old spy master. Okay, here we go. While you were gone, Mother seemed very sad. I think she missed you. The Lord Spymaster is with her, but she's said to show you right in. Welcome home, Lord Protector. Stop moving, Campbell. And you, Corvo, welcome back. Wherever you've been. They sent him all around the Isles to beg for aid. A waste of time. My elixir will banish the plague from this city. Now keep still a moment, High Overseer Campbell. Let's see if you're so good at this. I'll hide my eyes and count, and at the end of the countdown, I'll try and find you. Okay, I'm going to count to ten. Find a place to hide.
always find you. Okay, you win. We should go now, so Mother can see you too. Ugh. He's in the pavilion, sir. Her Majesty will be relieved to know you're back with us. Everyone seems scared because of the rat plague. I'm glad you're here. Later, will you show me that Tivian chokehold like you promised? I won't tell Mother. Corvo, if you won't marry my mother, would you marry me? You saw my improvements to the waterlock. I'm sure the Empress is eager to see you. Hey, Corvo. What are you doing? I need the bottle to draw the eye away from Campbell. I suppose I can paint him without the cider, though in truth he's always close to this stuff. It was a fool's errand, Corvo. The plague comes from inside us. We must all strengthen our faith. High Overseer, I must ask you to hold your pose. Take me with you on a trip one day, please. Mother's going to be happy. She missed you. She'll see you at once. Good to have you back, sir. It's been good traveling with you, Corvo. <clears throat> Hello, my lord. They're sick people, not criminals. We've gone beyond that question, your majesty. They're... They're my citizens, and we will save them from the plague if we can. All of them. Very well. We will not speak of this again. Mother, Corvo is back. Thank you, Emily. Leave us, please. As you wish, Your Majesty. Corvo. Two days early. Full of surprises, as usual. Mother told me that your trip was important. She's been worried. It's a fair wind that brings you home to me. What news have you brought? I hope that one of the other cities had dealt with this before. Knew of some cure. This news is very bad. We're at the breaking point. Cowards. They're going to blockade us. They'll wait to see if the plague turns the city into a graveyard. Are you okay, Mother? You seem sad. Yes, don't worry, darling. Mother is fine. Wait, where are the guards? Who sent them away? Mother, look! What are they doing on the rooftop? What? Emily, come here! <laughs> Corvo, thank you. If you hadn't been here... No more! Not again! Mommy! No! Get away from her! Corvo! Uh, 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 Mommy! Uh, get away! Corvo! Corvo... It's all coming apart. Fine. Find Emily. Protect her. You're the only one. You'll know what to do. Won't you? Corvo. Ward us all. Look at what he's done. Yes, he's killed the Empress. 
What did you do with young Lady Emily, traitor? Her own bodyguard. Ironic. I'll see you beheaded for this, Corvo. Peg him. This is your final chance, Corvo. Sign the confession, and let me give you the rights to put your spirit at ease. That's enough for now. Get out. Let's give the man some time to think. Corvo, the Empress is dead. Her daughter Emily is hidden away, and no one will ever know the truth. Yes, unlucky you. Tomorrow you'll be executed, but it's for a good cause. This country needs strong leadership now, someone to guide the weak. And that's where we come in. There was nothing personal in this, even though you almost sank our plans. But it turned out well. You were in the wrong place at the right time, and someone has to take the fall. Goodbye, Corvo. Guards! Take him back to his cell. You should eat, Corvo. This meal comes from a friend. Hey, can smell you from here. Bug someone else. How come so many people are coming to the execution tomorrow? It's on account of Corvo, the one who killed the Empress and abducted her daughter, Emily. So it's an occasion. Right. A social event for the High and Mighty. Come see the noble Lord Protector get his head chopped off. They're as bad as us betting on the dogfights. <coughs> Attention! The solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. More big rat swarms? Shut up. Sure. 
scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance with one week's notice. Solitary wing is off limits to maintenance crews unless accompanied by an officer of the watch. Escort through the solitary wing must be scheduled in advance Margo's with one week's notice. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, but everything has to be set up today. I can't wait to see his hand roll. Not everyone did, but 
I really like the Empress. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John as Bottle Street Boys jump you. You're such a chauffeur. restricted to the personnel assigned to the event and approved dignitaries only. of elixir from today another night another patrol with you kill on his way out of the prison. I guess if you'll kill the Empress, you don't care about a few guards. Shut up! 
Look at this stuff. Somebody's been down here. Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down here by the look of it. Good. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you, he never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. In the world I hope he can even find him. I hope it is too. Supposed to load the bodies in the carts headed to the flooded district? Yeah, but screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the plague, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there at the rats. Dunwall citizens, the assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Several brave officers of the state are dead by his hand. He is to be captured or killed at any cost.
won't get past me, sir. Do you know who we're hunting here? Don't try to take them out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. Smells like a dead weeper in here. Stay hidden for long. I'll flush you out. Ha! You little bastard. Can't stay hidden forever. Come out now. Samuel, and I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. Closed for business, half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. I'm sure the Admiral is anxious to meet you. Wasn't easy getting you here. 
I wouldn't hang about if I were you. From what I understand, time's getting short. So it's starting at last, Admiral. He found our man. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with it. We've been building a coalition of loyalists, aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes. Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to have you with us, Corvo. Nothing against the others, but there's no substitute for a man who's done his service for the Crown. Have you talked to Piero yet? He made the weapons we left for you on your way out of Coleridge Prison. Go see him when you can. You don't know what it means to work with a man who stood at the Empress's right hand. We can't bring her back, but at least we have the man she trusted most. And maybe we can help you right some of the wrongs done to you. This bar is mine, but please, treat it as your home. Piero still wants a word with you. He's, well, he's not a diplomat, but he's a brilliant man. If I may, I am the personal assistant to Lord Pendleton, and one of the senior servants at Pendleton House, as was my father. Now I am entrusted with this house, the home of the Loyalists. I have never seen the Admiral fail at any venture. If order can be restored to the city of Dunwall, I believe he can do it. If anyone can get your old life back, it's him. I don't need to tell you, if the authorities investigated this place, we would be hard-pressed to explain ourselves. Pleased to meet you, Master Corvo. I saw you at court in happier days, but you might not remember. I was once a close ally to the Lord Regent, Hiram Burroughs, back when he was just the spy master. He's one manipulative bastard, I can tell you that. your weapons and gear, all custom work. For you, I will create the tools of a master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible menace.
Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, the fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead, her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city, and you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the Outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world, great forces that men call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power, my gift to you. Come find me.
days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another room. This place is the end of all things, and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds, nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. How you use what I have given you falls upon you, as it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest.
If you like, but he won't use it. Why? He can't sleep in regular beds anymore. That's what he said. So you can maybe see him off. Believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hobble he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business. But sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Another thing. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Glad to see you got your rest, Corvo. You'll need it. Say, that's an interesting tattoo on your hand. Saw a lot of that in the Navy, but nothing quite like yours. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. I overheard the Admiral at breakfast, talking about the Overseers. That's all I heard. And I think it's better if I don't know too much about what you people are doing. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's nest? I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Then there are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Don't know which is worse. 
Just take your pick. If you decide to go up clavering, don't let the guard spot you. Watch out for the Bottle Street thugs if you take to the alleys. Mean bastards. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Good. Keep them coming. Firm. Hey. What is it? I think that last one was moving. What? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. <sighs> well, he ain't moving no more. <laughs> Please. I'm a bit shaken right now. I saw some terrible things today. Stupid rats. Plague. Elixir. I can't believe the way people act in the middle of a terrible... You gotta bleed! I'll be here when you come back. Dunwall citizens.
This is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I announce that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman are paying service are sad to the today. state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. I told you the knives go we on the left. Garbage, 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 all of it. I think the little birdies are sad today. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? Oh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny rags, granny rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. What a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Are they gone yet? Let us in, Granny. Listen. I've been digging for 80 years. Must have found something. Hear that, Granny? Whatever you got, Slackjaw gets a cut. Nothing personal. Just Bottle Street rules. <laughs> Here you are. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. I'll wait until you've seen your present. Oh no, that's not a nice thing. Just garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. All. Oh. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. 
I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely rune carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani? Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Wouldn't it be a shame if some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street Gang's elixir still? That'd teach him. See to it, dear. I'll find you another present just like the first. Galvani lives on Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. Hmm. But they're shy. You'll have to go or they won't come. Granny, 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 come out with me instead. Granny, granny, I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the mask. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know what? I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. Well, it was, at one time. But now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe someday the plague will blow over and everything will go back to normal. But until then... It's scavenging for me. What the? Wanna look at some of the things I found? Good prices, I swear.
Attention, Dunwall citizens. Please clear the area when a motorized carriage or stilt walker approaches on state business. Be advised that such vehicles will not slow or stop to avoid citizens obstructing the way. Stay hidden forever. Did you touch the door handle to Dr. Galvani's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. 
The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just... No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. Meyer's new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galbani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? I hope not. I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. <laughs> what will I do now? What? Oh no! I need help! <gasps>
Look out. We got a prowler. Look out, we got a prowler. 